Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Darrell Weather with Branson Local News and Weather. And tonight <clears throat> we have a special guest to do our forecast for the uh, Branson, Missouri area. Uh, Randy, welcome. Thank you. Uh, this would be Randy Luna, who is, as you all know, stormed our weather. Um, <laughs> yep, got to look at that hat right there, hat. guys. Got to look at that hat. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, Randy, first of all, thank you very much for coming on and doing our forecast uh, tonight for oh, the no Branson problem. area. We appreciate it. it very much. Sure. Um, if you don't mind, I will just turn this all over to you and uh, let you tell our followers as well as yours um, exactly what we can look at tonight and uh, tomorrow for the Branson area. Well, for Branson, we had a nice little not storm but little line that moved through a while ago and that is all in response to that uh, that mid-level low pressure system that's finally now up uh, around the Rolla area it's just it's just having that circulation and flinging stuff and this is why we we've, we've said it's it's really hard to pinpoint where uh, showers and thunderstorms are going to happen because Absolutely. they're so spotty uh, anytime you get that a uh, low in the mid levels it's going to stir things up and we just don't know we did get lucky that mm -hmm. last night the, the fireworks festivities uh, were able to go. Oh, and what what a show we had! Oh my in gosh, town too. It, it, it was it was incredible. <laughs> yes, but uh, I, again for tonight, what's happening is that low is departing, and so we're going to have little bitty bands of scattered blips of showers kind of move through the area. But overall, it's on a decrease. So I would imagine probably midnight or after. The whole storm system is going to clear out. The skies are going to start clearing out. Uh, I, if I were to guess on my, uh, for my personal, I would say maybe a 20, 30 percent chance of scattered stuff tonight. Not everybody's going to get wet. It's just going to kind of move on. The skies are going to clear tonight. Uh, temperature is going to be in the mid 60s, and tomorrow we're expecting sunny skies for once in a while. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, but it's going to still be rather warm. The temperatures, I mean, hey, I'll is, take the warmth. It take the yes. I'll take the warmth. Yeah, it is July. We have to understand that. Absolutely. At least, at least it's not a hundred. I mean, true. That, that's With a the heat warm. index of 120. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> uh, looks like Joy here has stopped in. Uh, Joy says uh, hard rain in Nashville today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did see that, by the way, Joy. Uh, hopefully everything is okay down in that area, not a whole lot of flooding. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's part of that storm system. That storm system is so huge, it's just moving through. So I would imagine that's all going to be moving out, and you should get some clearing later. Now, did, did you, uh, have you noticed the spinning? Oh, that spinning a is as fantastic. this has moved through here. Uh, during this rain that we've gotten it's over the fantastic. past couple of days. It's fantastic. It, you can kind of imagine it like like a hurricane in a way. You've got that, yeah. that circulation. I mean, this is not a tropical system. It's not a hurricane, uh, but it's one of these what we call a cutoff low that's just kind of riding along a boundary, and it just sits there, and it just spins, and it's just magnificent to look at on radar. Oh, yes, yes. It really but is. Watching it has been actually rather fun watching it. It, it as, is. As it rotates. Um, and then, oh, let's see, uh, okay. Margaret asked, any for Hollister? No, nope. for Hollister is, is going to be pretty much the same thing as for Branson. I mean, we're only just a few miles apart and they're right up next to each other. So if, if so really the, the, the entire southern Missouri area, that's probably, uh, you can count this forecast for the entire Missouri area. Blue Eye, I, I think I saw Blue Eye on there. Yes, she has. Uh, we had at least five rain showers in Blue Eye yeah, since yeah, little, midnight. Little yeah. spotty rain showers, that's that's the, the nature of this system, and that's when you get that mid-level system, uh, you know, start stirring up stuff in the lower levels and mm -hmm. the upper levels, and just kind of makes a little, uh, you know, get that moisture and just kind of raise it a little bit, it'll condense and make a little shower and rain itself out. And yep. that's what's going on. Yeah, it just gets a little bit more moisture than it can hold. Mm -hmm. And then it's got to go somewhere. And unfortunately for us, it comes down it on comes, top of us. It comes right down. And, that, yep. and, and, and it, because it's pinwheeling, these showers, you've noticed, are not lasting very long. No. They, no. they, just, they, just, they just pop and then it goes away. And, and uh, like we said, we had that huge uh, line and mean looking clouds and it just it had some rain in it for what 10 minutes oh, maybe yeah, yeah maybe yeah. yeah before we came in uh, to do the weather forecast um, we worked on a couple other little projects first mm -hmm. but um, outside I looked up I seen blue skies but yes 
I had sprinkling. The sprinkling, I yes. know. It's yeah. just falling through the air, and, and these are little narrow, narrow there, lines yep. of, of showers. And exactly. Goes, and I thought we might see a rainbow, but I didn't see a rainbow. I didn't. I didn't see one. I, I figured we would kind of off to maybe the west or southwest, but mm -hmm. never did see anything. Never did. Uh, Catherine, it's odd watching it on radar. Uh, hi, guys. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> thank you for joining in, and thank you for the other 15 viewers we have right now. All right. Uh, just throwing this back out again, tonight's uh, special forecaster is Randy Luna with Stormdar Weather. And guys, make sure you don't follow his page make sure you follow his page as well that is storm dar weather all you got to do is type that in on your facebook that'll take you to his page um, storm dar and branson local news and weather have worked closely on a couple different storms that mm -hmm. came into the area um, the way we kind of do things is uh, uh, randy is the in studio guy and yep. we are the ones out in the field um, we relay information back to Randy. Mm -hmm. uh, Randy also gets us information out, especially if we lose data. Uh, yes. It's always nice to be able to message Randy and go, hey, I'm not trusting my radar mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me? Um, and Randy has always been good about uh, giving us information as we need it. Uh, I think the two teams work very well together, in my opinion. I agree, yeah. I agree, because yeah. sometimes we're watching, you know, big red cells on radar and stuff, and, and Daryl's right out there, and he can tell me, if is it flooding in that area? Yes. So so we got, we got you covered on both ends right there. Right. We had actually discussed this earlier, too. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, a lot of times the National Weather Service, uh, what they see is on radar. Right. Uh, they count on the spotter that's out in the field. Exactly. And uh, <clears throat> that's where people like us come in as a tool for mm -hmm. the National Weather Service. Uh, sometimes I can't get it to them, but I could send it to Randy or to one of our team members who right. can get the information to the National Weather Service on what we're seeing. Yeah, and especially around here, when you got these little creeks and streams stemming off of off of Lake Taney Como, it, it, you never know. Uh, you could have like a really that that really tiny little red cell, and it'll just dump in one area, and all of a sudden and you've it, got that creek rise. Yep, exactly. And then before you know it, it's gone. The creek's going back down, mm -hmm. and it's like nothing yeah. had ever hit. And that's why we, we both try to tell you, you know, if you are camping, and there is times uh, we see, you know, heavy rain coming. It's like if you're camping next to the river or something, you've got to beware and be weather aware. That stream could just rise on up, yes. and, and you're hosed, so we don't want that. Yes, there are little <laughs> rhymes out there that say... Uh, when you hear, uh, or when the thunder roars, go indoors. Go indoors, yep. Uh, us at Branson Local News and Weather, what we like to say before weather hits is have a plan in place mm -hmm. just in case. I like that. Yes. Doesn't, I'm going to steal that. There you go. You guys are welcome to use <laughs> it. I'll give Phil, you credit. How there you that? go. That works for me. Oh, and by the way, guys, just to let you all know, uh, we are uh, coming to you live from the Lodge of the Ozarks mm -hmm. here in Branson. Yes. That just recently reopened under new ownership and man have they done some it's outstanding beautiful. upgrades to the property they really uh, have very well worth coming by and checking out um, it, it is not uh, fully open they've got about half of it open uh, but the new owners are taking their time and doing things right that's the only uh, way to do it absolutely way. what do you and say they have about 80 rooms open i now think it's right at about 80, 80 rooms, rooms are yeah open so right so if now. you're in you know coming in town this would be the place to oh, stay absolutely well worth checking out mm -hmm. um uh, again we want to thank them for letting us do this live stream yes uh, to do the uh, forecast on and uh -huh. again if you're out and about even if you're a local just stop in check it out see what you think uh, i'm sure they won't mind at all not at all um so now, anyway, Randy, back to uh, oh well, first uh, Margarita, or I can't oh, exactly. Oh, thing is big. Yeah, the print is very small, <laughs> and you are very welcome. It's it's hard to read the print from here. <laughs> I, I thought somebody was offering us a margarita. That's what I, I thought. I go for that. But yeah, I go for that. yeah. Hey, yeah, we'll take it. This is actually better because when when we do our live, I do my live cast. It's on my my little bitty phone, and I set it up there, and I I know people comment and ask questions and stuff and 
I, I just can't see it. So that's right. why. Yeah, I, a lot we, of times you got to go back. Go back. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you have if you have comments or questions or whatever, leave them in the comment section, and I always go back and try to answer those questions. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we do a lot of times when we're live streaming. Uh huh. <clears throat> um, I'll live stream. I use the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, mm -hmm. and that's what I'll live stream from. Sometimes the action's going too much for us to go oh, yeah. and answer a question. Uh, yeah. It's not that we ever try to ignore anybody and right. we'll try right. some questions. By the time we get back to them, it's too late to give an answer mm -hmm. because their question dealt with what's happening at that time. At that particular moment, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, so. you, you know, like once we get once we get going, I mean, if there's a storm, we're ready to hit Branson. Uh, or Hollister, the area, and it, it's pretty severe. I, I'm locked on radar, and I'm locked on trying to get stuff. And we try to get get to your your questions as as, as fast oh, as absolutely. we can. Absolutely. Now, another thing to remember too, guys, is Randy has a full time job. I have a full time job. Real jobs. A, as do <laughs> our team members. Uh -huh. uh, so we're not always able to. Um, cover every single aspect of a storm because we may be working as well as our team members. Yeah. Uh, guarantee you though, as soon as we're able to, we'll get in and post what we can. Yes. And hello, Tammy, thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it very much. Um, and then, uh, well, I know we always talk about this a lot too, but uh, what, what do you think for this coming weekend? We got tourists, it's hump day. We have tourists that are going to be in town It again. is hump day. At this point, it looks like it's probably going to be pretty good for this weekend. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. That's yeah. what it was looking like to me. Once this, like we've said, this boundary has just it just been sitting there, and impulses is right along it. And this big storm, or I'll call it a storm, yeah. going through now with that big swirl, that's kind of the last one. So when it pulls off, it's going to kind of take that boundary and move it out of the way, yeah. and that's why our skies are yeah. going to clear. All off eastern to us. All of you mm -hmm. east of us, you get to go through what we just got to go through. Yeah, and this thing's moving so slow. I mean, we should say like areas like West Plains mm -hmm. uh, in you know South Central or Southeastern Missouri, uh, you're probably going to get these scattered pop showers maybe for the first half of tomorrow, just because this thing is just such yeah, a slow mover. Yeah, it's just taking its way. It, it's a very slow moving system that is doing the counterclockwise circulation mm -hmm. as it moves out. Yeah. So, okay, uh, anybody have any questions for us mm -hmm. before we wrap this up? We should uh, rain in Iowa. Yeah, y'all yeah. have had your share. We, we, we have some followers up in yeah, Iowa. They, yeah, we they, do. They've had some tornadic storms yes, up there. Yes, they have. Matter of the fact, we were two. just up there on our BWX National um, weather mm -hmm. page about a month ago. Oh, yeah. Um, storm chasing up there, uh, me and my team member and chasing partner, Kevin Short. Uh -huh. And um, we actually got hit by a microburst. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> west of uh, the Des Moines area. And you literally could feel it push the car into the ground. Man. And this is what was so odd about it was uh, you get hit with a microburst. And then within about five seconds, a crosswind came yeah. across. That makes sense. That we didn't expect that crosswind five seconds after mm -hmm. a, a microburst hit us. It, and it, it's kind of weird. Yeah. For us, it was a mini microburst. Good. Nobody got hurt. And nobody got hurt. No other traffic. Uh, okay, although winds good. were extremely heavy that day, and we uh, we did see a lot of overturned uh, mm. um, uh, eighteen wheelers. We seen yep. a yep. mobile home that was being towed. Uh, wow. down the interstate, the mobile home was gone, but the mobile home toter and the frame to the mobile home was sitting on the side of the road, but the construction part of the mobile home was gone. Yeah, mo mobile homes and, and high-profile vehicles High profile vehicles. I've never been able to say that. I know, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when you get winds above 40 miles an hour. Uh, that's when the National Weather Service will usually issue a wind advisory right. or something. You know, if, if you're going north, and those winds are going east. I mean, you got that cross. You yeah. got to really slow it down. Uh, and be be cautious because that those things and, and the, the microburst. Uh, you know, for people who don't know microburst, you've got in a, in, a, in a thunderstorm cell, you've got a whole bunch of cold air up here that just piles and piles, and suddenly it gets heavy and it goes, bam, bam right straight, straight down. To the ground. It yep. hits the ground. It goes out because it has nowhere to go, and it goes out. So if you're under 
one of those microbursts like like you were, I mean, mm -hmm. it'll just push you down. Right. You know, it can go 70, 80 miles an hour. With oh, those yeah. Things going on. Yeah. Uh, me and one of our team members, uh, Diane and Lance Powers, when I was in Florida, mm -hmm. um, we got a call to go cover um, what the National Weather Service out of Tallahassee thought was uh, tornado damage. Oh. And we went to cover that, and we got in this little area out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in Florida called Griffith Mills. Okay. And very little data reception or anything. Uh, took us forever to find this place. Well, we get out there, and it's one man's property. It destroyed everything mm. on his property with the exception of his home. Of his home? It left his home. How about but that? It knocked huge trees over well it was a big circular just i mean trees laid over you okay know. you could tell it yeah, was it circular, was circular. Yeah. It, it wasn't like a whole big area had been swapped around uh -huh. it was just a big circular everything laid out and well as soon as we got there we had realized that this wasn't a tornado this was a microburst and it was a powerful microburst. Yeah, How the man's things. house stood through it, I have no Me idea. Me either. If, if those large trees were knocked over like that, I mean, that guy was very lucky. Hey, Cheryl, thank you. We appreciate it. Hey, Cheryl. Um, yeah, that was uh, that that was very interesting. Are we expecting sunshine? Yes. Yes. The sun yes. will come out tomorrow. Maybe not full force, but the clouds will be on the decrease. We will see some sunshine tomorrow. Yes, indeed. And tomorrow's when I have to go back to work. This is my last day of my two days <laughs> off. So anyway, oh, guys. I, <laughs> hey, we got to make, hey, make the money. Hey, you know. There you go. Got to make the dollars so we can keep sending you guys all of this uh, information about weather and news. Yes. Anyway, I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Thank you all very much for following us. Again, this is Randy Luna with Stormed Our Weather. I'm Daryl Weather with Branson Local News and Weather, inviting you to follow both pages. Both Not of us. just one, follow both. Both. Come, come on <laughs> along. We'll, we'll keep you informed one way or another. Yeah. Always have a question, message either page. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll both be more than happy to answer a question. If I don't have an answer, I'll get one from Randy and vice versa. Vice versa, yes. We, we will make it happen for you. Randy, also want to tell you thank you, sir, very much. Thanks for having we, me. This is fun. We appreciate you we coming on. We need to on. do this some more we often. We should. We should do this more often. Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, let us know what you think. If you would like to see us do this uh, more often, mm -hmm. let us know. Let us know. We'll, we'll see what we can do about making it happen. And Cody says Daryl have to go get his coffee. <laughs> there you go. Uh, right now I have Dr. Pepper. It's on the other <laughs> side of the camera. You can't see it. But when I get back to my house, I have coffee. You can guarantee it. Anyway, guys, hey, thank you all again very much. Thanks, you all everybody. have yourselves a great evening. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out. Much love. Peace out. <laughs> well, well, we will end this. I swear we will if the finish button will take. <laughs>